Okay, this is a short demo about uh, my automatic uh, chicken cook door. Uh, the first step and what I come, what my findings is. Uh, first of all, I was thinking about to use an Arduino uh, as a microcontroller. Uh, that will work fine, and then use a H bridge. Bridge. Uh, but the problem with the uh, Arduino, it doesn't have any uh, Wi-Fi model, so then I had to order that separately. And then, by a coincidence, I found out this ESP32 CAM. That's th that. This one have uh, built-in Wi-Fi here uh, and uh, a web camera. So my intention was to use this one and. Uh, connect a uh, uh, relay module or something uh, to this one for DC motor since I, I could have a fixed ratio I don't I don't need to have a, uh, the, the speed limitation is not a virtual one I mean so therefore I start continue searching on that, that one and I found uh, Search for ESP32 and web uh, relay, and then I found this one. Uh, so this one is an ESP uh, ESP model with a relay. Uh, that's good. But this one only have one uh, relay, so I could just co control one direction. And then I was searching on the internet, and I found a suggestion how to connect. Uh, Two relays. So this is this is my findings how to proceed this build project. Uh, uh, so I have the motor. What here is the first relay, and this is the second relay, and there is the battery. So you see the connection here. You could pause here and, and look if you want to have details. Uh, one thing that I will add is this uh, uh, switches here, here and here. So I could uh, just start uh, opening up the door and then have the limit switch that will break the circuit when it's up in the top or when it's down. So that's the intention. And then next step uh, before assembling er everything. This is to test this one. So here I have a DC motor with a, a fixed gear. And it will be like, I think it was 40 rotations. Per, per minute or something. It's quite slow. It will be I think it will be quite uh, powerful and This is the ESP with dual uh, relays and You can see the wiring wiring Could zoom in a bit with this one There you can see the cables uh, These two cables go to the to engine and this is the 12 volt connection DC power. Uh, sorry. This is the connection to DC 12 volt. So uh, this board, you, you could have it, there, there are several versions exist. So this one is for 12, 12 volt input here and also 12 volt out to the relay. Yeah, so this is uh, the first step and I will continue showing how the uh, automatic uh, chicken coop door will look like further on. Yes, and this is a setup. Uh, you see the engine here, there, and you have the control there and there is ESP. So we're pressing up. And up, pressing down 
and off. So this is how it looks like. When it's connected you see the uh, blue and green there and you see ESP is connected. And this is the first step of my engine. I will have You will see later on how it will look like. So this is how the Wi-Fi controller looks like. And uh, you see here it's uh, 20 bot buttons or 20 connections or something. So I have configured uh, up, one, off, one, near, that's uh, down in Swedish, and off. Uh, and then you can see this is it's, uh, for motor to go up and you see the command there and you see that I had to type hex and then command that's uh, that will also be visible in the links to the video from where I found found the information and this is the command for shutting off power off the that relay the same relay relay one and this is for powering on relay number two. And you see the command here as well in hex. And this is the command for, oh, sorry. This is the command for powering off. So what I do now is to uh, connect to my uh, Wi-Fi there. And you see my Wi-Fi address, Wi-Fi controller. That means that it has um, contact with my ESP. And I could do go up and power off. I could go down and powering down. So that works finally. Up, down. That's it. Okay, push test. Your brother, huh? My compass in the apps. Ah, you seem low. Okay, I tried to demo this final version until now. Uh, here you can see that the tube, compared to previous video, is uh, with a virus or rope is tied against around it's a little bit smaller to get better power in the uh, in the in the motor and then you see I have you see the the switch there for that will break when it's in the bottom and you don't see it but in the bottom there is a switch that will break when it's in the top uh, so if I back out a bit so and I will try to go down so and then we'll try and go up so it's still a bit power it could be a, a bigger engine maybe motor I don't know but it works anyway so this is the final one I will leave uh, links to some useful th things that I have found useful when when I build this in the description so good luck <laughs>